the sense of smell. Did you watch the video on the sense of taste? Then you already know smell is an important part of tasting. But your sense of smell is also important for other reasons. Your sense of smell can find and identify odors. Odors are things you can smell. Our sense of smell can keep us safe. The odor of rotting or moldy food will warn us not to eat it. Smelling food can help us decide if it is something safe to eat. A person's odor can also help doctors treat an illness or injury. Sometimes they can smell an infection. Our sense of smell can warn us of dangerous gases. The odor of smoke warns us that a fire is near. We may not know it, but our sense of smell can also warn us if someone is angry or upset. Their odor will change. Other people's odors help us to decide if we want to spend more time with them. What you eat will change the way you smell to others. You might love the taste of garlic, but other people might think it makes you stink. Every single person smells differently from everybody else. We all have a special odor. If you cover up a baby's eyes, it will know which person is his or her mother just from smelling the woman's skin. Isn't that amazing? There is a big word for the sense of smell, olfaction. Where does olfaction happen? Up inside your nose. There are two patches called olfactory receptors. They work with your brain to figure out smells. People have a pretty good sense of smell. We have about five or six million yellowish cells in our olfactory receptors. But many animals have a stronger sense of smell than we do. A rabbit needs to have a good sense of smell to survive. It has about 100 million of those olfactory receptors. This helps them to smell food like wild cabbage and to smell danger like foxes. Dogs have an amazing sense of smell. A dog has about 220 million olfactory receptors. That is why they make such excellent trackers for finding lost children by using their sense of smell. Bears have an even better sense of smell than dogs. That's why they are so good at hunting food. And that is why you should not keep snacks or even soap that has a yummy odor inside your tent when you're camping. You don't want to have a nighttime visit from a hungry bear. Women and girls have a better sense of smell than men and boys. Everyone doesn't like the same smells. Some people are even allergic to certain smells. Perfume and hairspray can give some people headaches, make their eyes and nose run, or even make it hard for them to breathe. If you are going to be in a crowded place, don't wear perfume or cologne. Some places like schools and hospitals have signs that say, Scent Free Zone. This means you are not allowed to wear strong smells like perfume because it might make someone sick. People spend a lot of money trying to make themselves smell good to other people, but there's no way to tell how others smell you. However, if you do not want to smell bad, being clean is important. Brush your teeth after every meal. Wash your hands carefully after using the toilet or playing outside. Shower or bathe often with warm water and soap, and especially after you've been sweating. Some people like to put herbs in their bath water because the smell of vanilla or lavender can be very relaxing. Smells of nature can make you feel good. Trees and other plants help to clean the air and make it smell healthy. Open your window to give your room a fresh, healthy smell. Here is a small experiment you can try. Have someone put a different scent on individual cotton balls by soaking up liquid or rubbing it against a solid. Keep them in sealed plastic bags or jars. If you are going to use something powdery or small like a spice, 
Be careful about inhaling it. Only put it in a jar with a top with tiny holes or gauze on top. You can try vanilla, coffee, chocolate, and more. I will give you a list of ideas. You try to figure out the smells, or you can have two of each smell and match them up. Make sure you don't look, wear a blindfold. Things can happen that makes our sense of smell weaken. People lose much of their sense of smell when they get old and when they have certain illnesses such as Parkinson's disease. Head injuries can damage your sense of smell. Be sure to wear a proper helmet when playing risky sports. You might not be able to smell very well if you have a cold, but it will return when you feel better. Allergies, just like colds, can make it hard to smell odors. Smoking will really damage your sense of smell. Take care of your sense of smell and it will help take care of you.